It's Friday then. It's Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Friday then. Saturday, Sunday. What? Yeah, it's okay. What's up? This is Jeff. Welcome to Jeff's podcast. And before the start of the podcast, I would like to shout out to Dickies Philippines for this episode of the podcast. Dickies Philippines is available at selected pop-up stores, in-store benches, and also on Lazada, Salora, and The Rail. Dickies, or Williamson Dickey Manufacturing Company, was founded by C. Ed Williamson and E. E. Colonel Dickey in Fort Worth, Texas in 1922. Both men are working every piece of Dickey's workwear that has stood for the quality, toughness, and pride that embodies the spirit of the American worker. They began their business careers in the vehicle and harness business in Bryan, Texas. In 1918, they made what turned out to be a momentous decision when they and a few friends established the U.S. of all company. Then in 1922, C. Don Williamson joined with his father and cousin to buy 100% of the overall company on a one-third each basis and renamed it Williamson Dickey Manufacturing Company. From its early years, Williamson Dickey enjoyed steady growth, slowed only by the Great Depression and during World War II, the company was sequestered to produce millions of uniforms for the nation's armed forces. In converting to civilian production after the war, C. Don Williamson began a strategy of geographical expansion and established new production facilities, warehouses, and sales territories throughout the United States. In the late 1950s, Williamson Dickey became an international company by expanding into the European market and the Middle Eastern market, where Texas oilmen introduced the Dickey's brand to Middle Eastern oil fields. While Williamson Dickey began as a beef overall company, Today, it has grown to be the number one manufacturer of work apparel worldwide by continually expanding and updating or updating its selection. Williamson Dickey now offers garments ranging from its staple work pants and work shirts to items such as women's workwear, chore coats, and denim jeans. In 1960, Dickies produced two major breakthroughs that would set the tone for their iconic clothes for the rest of the century. The company perfected their signature fabric, a seamless integration of durability and comfort. They arrived at a blend of 65% polyester and 35% cotton that would set the standard for their legendarily indestructible clothing. By 1970, the United States helped Dickies transition from its position as a workwear giant to a mass market retail brand. The aim was to offer a shown and reliable one stop uniform shop for their traditional customer base. Uniformed workers like postmen and police officers could stop in for replacement clothing and accessories. It was a period of growth for the company on several fronts beyond brick and mortar. The brand opened industrial laundry shops, a move that solidified their relationships with companies that wore their uniforms. It also opened industrial laundry shops, a move that solidified their relationships with companies that wore their uniforms and expanded and transformed into a healthcare products provider. By the 1980s, the company's offerings were extensive from dental supplies to literature for expecting mothers. In 1980, the company transitioned from workwear to become a fashion culture as the company becomes an underground cool culture. When Latinx men and women in Southern California began incorporating the company into their style in the late 70s and 80s, it becomes a staple of regional street style. The company has decided to form a cholo style. This trend grew out of Latinx neighborhoods and took hold throughout Southern California. Members of NWA were also often seen wearing dickies and you could see skateboarders wearing them from Benice to Silver Lake. Along with other workwear brands like Carhartt, Dickies started to draw the interest of broader youth culture in the 1990s. Dickies, in 
Vicky's connection with Los Angeles fashion helped associate the band with skate culture and pop punk. Two major turn of the century SoCal experts that went mainstream in suburban America. They have continued to enjoy their blue collar credentials. The band has also emerged as a mainstay of US street style in recent decades. Dickies is famous for its lineup of working class jeans such as the famous 874 work pants and the Eisenhower jacket. Both are quintessentially American as a John Deere tractor or a Ford truck. 874 is the original fit which uses as sport pants but it becomes casual pants as of today. They've been worn and loved by hard workers and thinkers who have made their mark on the job for over 60 years. With an ultra durable twill blend that wears in comfortably without wearing out, functional features, and classic timeless style, these work pants are crafted to outlast the rest. Eisenhower jacket is a uniform jacket worn by American pilots during the Second World War. It came from an American military officer, statesman, and 34th President of the United States, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Eisenhower appreciated the style and had it developed for American soldiers. Its military background and uncomplicated style led to its easy adoption. Dickies has nurtured their pop culture saturation. The company has remained devoted to their core values of creating quality workwear. The brand offers dozens of products aimed at serving workwear people across the spectrum of employment and still maintain a strong commercial retail presence. Familiar to both high fashion and the dirtiest of jobs, Dickies have remained a staple of American style and American life for decades. As the brand celebrates a century of providing workwear for America's toughest jobs, Dickies remains an iconic brand, as durable and dynamic as the workers they serve. The company is celebrating its 100th anniversary in 2022, and Williamson Dickey are congratulating the icons and the American workers from around the world who worked hard and earned for respect on becoming the American youth culture. You'll be earned them. Special shout out to Dickies Philippines for this episode. Dickies Philippines is available at selected pop up stores, in store branches, and also on the Sada, Salora, and the Rail. If you have comments or suggestions, let us know in the comments. Follow Jeff11 Magister on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to youtube.com slash paperboy. Well, that's about it for Jeff's podcast. This is Jeff. We'll see you in the next podcast. Thank you.